Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Wivs from Slidenerd here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about this tag called NoScript in JavaScript. First of all, I'd like to thank RJ Christie for giving us this presentation. Second of all, if you guys have presentation on some subject that you wanna see a video on, email us at slidenerd.gmail.com. Now let's talk about the NoScript element. The NoScript element was provided in older browsers where JavaScript was not supported. Even today, in the modern browsers, if you can disable JavaScript, then you will see the content inside NoScript being shown to you guys. So in other words, when is this NoScript tag executed? Now this is conditional, remember, this is not always executed. The content inside NoScript tag will be shown only if the browser doesn't support scripting or the browser's scripting support is turned off. In other words, if you go to Google Chrome, if you disable JavaScript, then you will see this NoScript tag being run by you guys. Now, the content is rendered under those two conditions. Now, in all other cases, the browser will not show the content that is put inside your NoScript tag. Let's take an example. Here's a simple example. If you guys notice, there's an HTML document and right here inside the body, the NoScript tag is present within which I have put a paragraph P opening and P closing tag. Like I said in the previous slide, you can add any tag you want inside NoScript except the script tag. So this message which says this page requires JavaScript enabled browser will be shown only if the browser does not have JavaScript enabled or the browser does not support JavaScript. For all other cases, this message will never be seen even if it's a part of the page. So let's go to WebStorm here and try to figure out how we can use NoScript. To give you guys a simple example, I'm using JetBrains WebStorm. I have a script tag here within which there is some code that adds two numbers. Now I showed you guys this code in the previous video. It's the same code. I have not even touched it. Now if you go here in the bottom, there's the HTML document with the body tag. And I have written a no script over here inside which there's a paragraph which says ha 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 script will not work in your browser you're a messed up person. So this part of this paragraph will be run only if your browser does not support JavaScript. In other words it does not understand what you guys have written here inside your script tag or if you guys have disabled JavaScript in your browser. Let's go and take a look at that in action. You go to Google Chrome right now and what happens is the number gets added as per the code that we wrote inside, that is 15 plus 25 gives you 40 which is being shown inside the alert. If you click OK, well that's the end of it because I have not put any text inside the body. Now let's take a look at one important thing over here. The no script tag or any of its content is not being shown here to you guys. Like I said, if JavaScript is supported, that doesn't run. Now let's go to our Google Chrome settings here and go to your advanced settings. There's content settings. If you go to JavaScript, just disable it by saying do not allow any site to run JavaScript. Click done over here and if you go back to this page, refresh it. Now if you guys notice it says ha ha ha, script does not work in your browser, you're one messed up person. Now this means that JavaScript did not run on your browser. So this is a nice way of telling the user what is going wrong with your site if JavaScript is not able to run. And at the same time, it's a good way for you guys to debug your web apps and figure out how your site works without JavaScript. So hopefully you guys have understood something about the NoScript tag. In the next video, I'll continue my discussion of JavaScript further. In the meantime, if you guys do like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to SlideNerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.